fun. It's kind of dark right now because my lighting kit just ran out of battery, but majority of this video is nice and bright. Anyway, today's video is going to be um, mm, how not to look like a complete hobo going to school. Um, it's for those days where you wake up <clears throat> maybe like 15-20 minutes before class or you have something relatively important to do so you don't want to look too tired. For today's video, I'm using all new products. So I will be talking about my first impression. It's kind of like a haul, crossover, get ready with me kind of video. So I hope you guys enjoy. And um, what else is there to say? Uh, I, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, I just woke up like 10 minutes ago, got changed and came down here to film. You can see all my dark circles and just perfect imperfections. <laughs> so let's get started right away. I have all the products that I'm going to try out right here. They're Every single one of them is new. So let's get the hair out of the way. I'm going to use this. It actually comes, these two from the same line. One of them is an oil balm kind of thing, and then the other one is a liquid. I like to start off with things, usually my toner or some type of liquidy product when I do my makeup, regardless of if it's a new thing. Oh, it's kind of thick. Smell is very strong. Um, I'm usually very picky with my skincare products because I have super dry skin that is very sensitive as well. But this one's okay though. It smells like products with vitamin C in it. Then I'm gonna use this one right here. This, I actually opened this last night just to test out how it is. It's like solidified oil balm kind of thing, if you can see it right here. And basically it comes with a little spatula, but I just make sure my hands are clean. Then I scoop up a little chunk right here. And then I, what I did last night was just, I put it around the areas where I usually have such dry skin that I flake, which is my nose. Ugh, let me zoom in. Okay, wow. Look at, look at that pimple right there. <laughs> There's actually more skincare products that I need to try out. I got the Laneige water um, sleeping pack. Like I mentioned it in like a video years ago and I absolutely loved that thing. I got my friends to try it and then they loved it too. So I figured I would try their actual moisturizing cream. So this is not the sleeping bag pack, but it's the same line. So inside looks like this like any other cream as my face is not moisturized enough let's just dab on more moisturizer around the nose to prevent things from flaking I also flake right here this is kind of weird because I sweat there but then I also flake there if you guys like Korean skincare products I'm sure you've heard of this brand before I feel like a lot of their products are usually aimed towards more mature skin but I figured I'd give it a try I am honestly not a fan of bottles that are like this because you just have to like keep smacking it to get the product out. It smells very strong. Like very, very strong. Let's see. Oh, this one has a kind of like a ginseng smell. Moving on to the actual makeup part of this video. So this is the Vanilla and Co primer. And open it up. Oh, it looks like this. I've heard good reviews about this actually, so I am quite excited to try this out <laughs> if I can get the lid off. Okay, there we go. As expected, it's kind of like this gel consistency. Let's rub it. So I'm gonna do it on my nose, no surprise. This is, I feel like it's good for filling in those large pores, so then you'd have a nice even canvas to work with. Moving on to what I am super excited for. This is the oh so famous BB cushion and I hope I got it in the right color. This one comes with a refill. Yes! It's like this and then you dab, 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 dab. <laughs> my friends are rubbing off on me. Okay, let's cover away the redness on my cheeks. Let's zoom in. Problem areas right here. So, <clears throat> See? So I'm gonna do one side first so you can kind of get a feel of how it is. It's actually quite good at covering my redness. I have a lot of broken capillaries here. You can probably tell right here. Yeah, see, I have a lot of broken capillaries right here, but I think it does a pretty good job of covering up the redness of it, actually. So let's go up here. My skin tone is also quite uneven because my forehead is a bit 
more tan. Mm -hmm. Cover up that redness right there. Oh, it actually does a pretty good job. You see the difference? This side, dark circles, broken capillaries, redness. Well, I don't have a pimple on this side, so you can't compare. But um, skin tone, this side is more evidently tanned and uneven relative to the bottom part of my skin. Moving on, this concealer, not gonna lie, I actually opened it um, <laughs> last week because I was really excited to try this out. I can tell you this thing is thebomb.com.ca.uk.edu.gov It is super super high coverage, probably the most high coverage concealer I've used thus far. It's got SPF which is fantastic for those days where I don't want to wear any BB cushion or anything and I just want to cover up these horrifyingly dark dark circles and it is so unbelievably awesome that like you really just want dots like tiny little dots on your skin and then and then it covers everything up let's zoom this in once again okay the light is so bright you can't see anything here so it dotted I had a pimple right here right look it like covers it up very nicely and then I'm gonna move on to my brows. I actually got my friend to buy this for me when she was in Korea. This was like back in the summer. But um, I saw this online once and I really wanted to try it. So it's like this, you've got the brow, you've got the brow marker on this side, and then you've got the setting brow gel on the side. I usually like to do an outline at the bottom. Okay, so first impression so far. It is very wet. Um, wondering how you can blend it out. You see how the front of my brow it looks kind of like solid right now. Usually I'd use a spoolie and kind of like spread it out, but we're trying all new products today, so I will not have a spoolie with me. Brow gel is also equally as wet. Problem with this is that when you get to the second brow, it has a little bit of trouble drawing it on, so you have to keep making like testing out the product on your hand first, which is kind of annoying. Okay, since I didn't buy any new eyeshadows, we use this bronzer as an eyeshadow. This is from Too Cool for School. It's a three-tone bronzer. Well, it's bronzer and then you've got your highlight here. All right, so look at this. You've got creasing of the foundation on your eye. But anyway, let's just dab a little bit of eyeshadow. Testing out this kill black eyeliner. I can't really comment on how good the eyeliner is until I come back at the end of the day. Today I'll be going to the gym, so we will definitely test whether or not it's waterproof or long wear. The tip is quite fine tip. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Dolly Wink one, but nevertheless, it's still good. It's not overly thick. It's quite flexible, which is great, because sometimes when you flick it out at the end, you want it to be flexible enough to kind of bend and then flick. If it's too stiff, then you have to actually like draw the winged eyeliner part yourself. I have not purchased a different mascara in, I'd say, three and a half years. I've been repurchasing the exact same Kiss Me mascara, which I have right here. Like, if I could only choose one thing to use for the rest of my life, I would choose mascara, and this would be the mascara I choose. But today, I decided to try this new mascara. This mascara is from Vanilla & Co, and the tip of the mascara is quite different. It's kind of curved. See, for me, the most important part of choosing a good mascara is not whether or not it can extend my lashes. More importantly, I think, a mascara should be able to hold the curl. That is ridiculously important for me. Because naturally my lashes point downwards. Moving on to blush now. So I am trying this new blush. I don't know why, but I'm not a huge blush person because I feel like my broken capillaries, even after I wear face makeup, it gives me a little bit of a natural red flush to my face. This one's shimmery, I can tell. The light's like reflecting off of it right now. Not sure if it's obvious on camera because I have a huge light pointing at me right now, but it's pretty natural. Just, it's a bit 
bit shimmery, which I was not expecting. Like the packaging, when you look at the product itself, it's not shimmery, not very shimmery, but there's definitely little, tiny little flakes on my face right now, but it is tolerable, I'd say. On to the bronzer, which I'm going to put it right here. I like this more than the Hula one, I must say. The Hula bronzer is a little bit too orange. It doesn't really work with my skin tone. Now on to the last step of the makeup. I'm using this strawberry juice tint. And let's open it up. Looks like this. It's your typical Korean lip tint looking product. My lips are actually very red right now. Not because I put on lip product, but lips are actually very naturally red. My mom always says it's because I'm not drinking enough water, but I drink like six liters of water a day. So I'm just putting it on. I'm not bothering with the whole like lip bite look. I feel like that look does not look good on me because my lips are really big. <laughs> so it just looks kind of weird. Okay, and my makeup is done now. It's a very, very natural makeup look. Very quick, if I didn't have to talk, I could probably do this entire thing in, I'd say 10 minutes maybe? Usually I would section my hair into three and then curl everything inwards, but because the whole point of today's tutorial is to be quick, right? We're not aiming to look like super fancy or anything. Let's move this up a bit so you can see what I'm doing. See, so we're gonna go for what I usually do for school and for lazy days. Actually, lazy days would I don't even bother styling my hair. I just put it in a ponytail. But um, if I have a little bit of time, what I would do is I'd section it around right here. Just like, I'd say the top third of my hair. And then uh, as my strainer is heating up, I would bring it to the top of my head. Twist, twist, twist. Uh. I like to tie super tight and this is my go-to hairstyle when I go study because I don't like it when my hair is in my face when I study. When I look down, I don't want to have to like every two seconds put it behind my ear. So if I get my bangs out of the way but still leave some parts of my hair down, then I don't look completely boring. If I'm feeling extra fancy, I'll use a little bit of bronzer and just color in my hairline area like this so I don't look like I'm balding because these are kind of like my baby pieces of hair here I don't really like that okay we are going to curl it inwards like this so I am back in the past 20 minutes I ran upstairs to go transfer some files out of my SD card during then I forgot to turn off my lighting kit now there's no battery so everything is gonna be darker but whoa but um, we shall settle for that usually I would use hairspray and like spray and hold these baby pieces of hair down but I don't have hairspray with me right now so we'll just settle for this this is honestly how I would go to school let's talk about Okay, I definitely just smacked them. So usually when I go to school for a class and everything, I would use my backpack, which I have a what's in my backpack video. But if I'm just going to school to run some errands or I'm going on campus to have a meeting or something, then I would just bring a bag like this. So basically this is a bag where it's not ridiculously big. I would not put my laptop in here. Instead, if I'm just going to school for a meeting, I would bring my tablet and then I would bring like my wallet, a my favorite water bottle, this is 700 milliliters. And then I would also bring, bring my glasses because sometimes my contacts get dry. So I would want to switch out of that. And then if I'm going on campus, I would always have my workout gloves with me and my wireless headphones. These are from Studio. Um, because I have a gym on campus and that's the one I usually go to so if I can I would squeeze in a quick workout Then there is a zipper. I'd zip this all up <clears throat> And then all fits nicely in here So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon Bye